ಅಮೃತವಾಣೀ ಓ ಪ್ರೇಮವಾಣೀ ಓ ಪ್ರೇಮವಾಣಿ ಅಮೃತವಾಣಿ In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Grace and blessings of God be always upon you. Today, the 27th of November, Wednesday, our God is calling us towards radical discipleship. In the first reading, we see that the King Belshazzar, he loots the vessels sacred vessels from the temple and uses it for profane purposes and what happens lord looks upon him and the wrath of the lord comes upon him and a writing on the wall is seen which means mene mene tekel parsin no one is able to interpret and then they bring this prophet of god daniel into the scene and daniel comes and he interprets it saying that king belshazzar your days are counted your days have come to end daniel doesn't worry about his life daniel doesn't worry about what would happen to him he did what he was supposed to do he was there to tell the truth and he told the truth you just imagine if any one of us is told to go to the home minister of our place and tell that you are doing wrong and your days are counted or not only home minister any minister for that matter do if we get some visions like that would we go we'd say no I think I'm going out of my mind. I should better go and show myself to a psychiatrist, not take such risks. But Daniel did that. True discipleship means radicality, and that's the same thing which the gospel speaks about today. It says that uh, the father will go against the son, son against the father, wife against husband, husband against wife, brother against sister. all this is what what is jesus trying to tell us he is trying to tell us that you cannot give the priority to your life to your relationships to anything else priority should be me dear brothers and sisters is god our priority or our relationships is god our priority or our safety is god our priority or our own thought in 2006 february there was this news about a muslim convert called abdul rahman the government was totally against him they put him behind the bars his wife left his, his children left him they only betrayed him and they told the police about his whereabouts everyone betrayed him yet he didn't leave god and by the help of god he was rescued and later when asked that how could he go through all this he said i belong to my god i do not belong to my wife to my children i belong to my god so therefore you even when they betrayed me i did not fall for i knew that i belong to a god who cannot betray me Let's close our eyes dear brothers and sisters and pray. Lord Jesus, we pray today that we may put all our trust in you who can neither deceive or nor be deceived rather than putting on our trust in the deceiving people of this world. Lord, help us to stand for truth, stand for truth strong always, never giving away the truth for our comfort our pleasure and our safety we make this prayer through christ our lord amen